everyone, so happy end of March. I was about to say February then, that would have been completely wrong. So today I have my March beauty favourites with you and as of January's and February's video, I'm gonna try and keep this quite small and condensed and not just ramble on about a thousand different products, but try and keep it to the best of the best, the things I've really, really been enjoying and loving this month. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven things here to show you today, which I suppose is, is quite a lot, but that's a small condensed favourites for me. So I'm gonna start with skincare and it's quite rare these days that a skincare product makes it into my favourites because I think I just found myself the perfect routine. So do let me know if you'd like to see an updated skincare routine because I've been meaning to do one of those for a while now. Um, but the first thing that I have is the Kiehl's Midnight Recovery Concentrate. I feel like I've mentioned this in quite a few videos before, probably a few favourites videos as well, but it's just the best facial oil I've ever come across. It's really rich and hydrating, very replenishing, and yet it doesn't feel overly heavy or greasy or sticky, so I feel like anybody with any skin type could use this whether you're oily or combination or if you have a drier skin and I do feel like I fit into every single one of those categories over the last three months and it's worked perfectly for me every single time so I just tend to put a drop of this in the palm of my hand and then smooth all over my skin after I've used my toner or you know last cleansing step and then I can either just leave it like that and then I go to bed and just feel it working overnight on its own or I like to put a moisturiser on top of it if I feel like I need an extra bit of hydration but I think it just works so well at just healing the skin if you have any breakouts and blemishes, any redness, any sore patches. I feel like it would be a strange thing for an oil to do, but it really does work well at those things. So I love this. I think it's one of my favourite skincare products that I've ever, ever used. And there's also a mask that I've really been into this month, and it's the Antipodes Aura Manuka Honey Mask. Again, I think I've talked about this quite a few times, but I think it's probably my favourite face mask, apart from the Aesop Parsley Seed Mask, maybe. But this one is a lot different. It's very hydrating and very soothing and cooling, and I feel like this is great if you have quite sensitive, quite stressed out skin. It just really helps to treat it and calm it down. Also because of the Manuka honey, it's very antibacterial and it does help to clear out your skin. And I think it's quite rare to find a mask that is both hydrating and also quite clearing as well for blemishes and blocked pores. So it really is a two-in-one and that way you can kind of save your skin from using too many products on it. I just love putting this stuff all over my face as well because it smells so good, you can smell the honey in there and it's just really rich and sweet. It's a really, really lovely one to use. So last up in the skincare category, I have a body product here as well. And this is one of the Nails Yard shower gels. This is the geranium and orange version. And I love a good Nails Yard product. I love that they're organic and they're really good for your skin and the whole ethics behind the brand. I think that's great. And I also love the way that all their products smell. They just smell so beautifully kind of herbal and organic and just so lovely and uplifting and this one is no exception. It's so uplifting and refreshing and I love to use this in the mornings when I'm struggling to wake up which is pretty much every single day. I am not a morning person whatsoever but it really just helps just kind of wake me up. It really gets up your nose when you're using it in a steamy shower and it's a really lovely one as well. It's very softening and very soothing on the skin because it has the geranium and orange essential oils in there. It's just really hydrating. It feels lovely to use. So that's been one of my favourites in the morning just to get me up and get me awake and I just love all the Nails Yard body products and the packaging as well. I love the blue bottles. I think they look really lovely on your sink or on the side of your bath so big thumbs up for Nails Yard this month. Okay so on to makeup favourites and I'm going to get this first one out of the way to begin with because I feel as if I've mentioned this in my last two or three videos. I've been talking about it quite a lot so you can probably tell that I really really like it and it's the Bare Minerals Complexion Rescue. So this is I think only the second liquid base that they brought out. Bare Minerals are obviously all about the mineral powder foundations but they did bring out the bare skin foundation I think that's what it's called I haven't tried it so I wouldn't know and then this has just come out very very recently I think it's about to come out in the next week or so so this is basically a tinted moisturizer and yet it's very different from any tinted moisturizers I've tried before in the past in the way that it feels on my skin it's definitely very glowy and very fresh looking and it's very very hydrating you can actually feel how cooling and soothing it is when you put it onto your skin and yet it's not sticky it doesn't look overly greasy or shiny at all and it doesn't doesn't really come away when you touch it. It has a nice kind of set finish to it. And I find that's quite rare in tinted moisturisers. They tend to kind of just go all over my face and be a bit shiny and a bit too greasy most of the time. But this one I really, really love. And I'm surprised at how much I've been wearing it because it's not just on days off and days when I'm not really worried about my makeup that I've been putting it on, but every single day pretty much with this and a bit of concealer, that's really all I've been wearing. And I really like the way it looks. It makes my skin look like skin and yet still very perfected, very even and very flawless. I've even been mixing this in with some of my other foundations occasionally just to shear them down a little bit. And I find it works really well with Laura Mercier, cream foundation and also NARS sheer glow which I do love but I find it can be just a bit 
too much sometimes but adding a tiny drop of this in with that it just makes it really nice and sheer and very glowy. I'm going to stop talking about this now because I've rambled on and on about it for the last couple of weeks but it's definitely going to be my favourite kind of makeup base product for spring. Another makeup favourite that I've been reaching for loads this month is the By Terry Ombre Black Star in Misty Rock and as soon as I bought this I knew I would just be using it all the time. It's such a lovely colour. It's kind of somewhere in between a bronzy taupey purpley shade. It's really different. It's not something that I've ever seen before or that I have in my collection. I think it's the formulas of these though that I just absolutely love. They're so creamy and they glide on so smoothly. You can just paint them onto your eyelid and then buff them out and they still give a really lovely kind of soft finish. So they're very blendable, very easy to use. The pigmentation of these are amazing as well. They really do look very vibrant and very vivid on your skin and the colours really translate exactly how they look in the stick onto your eyelid. So I love this. There are quite a few drugstore dupes budget options now that have come out. So I think number seven have a range of shade and define sticks which are very very similar in texture and longevity. But the thing about the By Terry's that I think really separates them, sets them apart from those is the colour ranges. The colours in them are just so stunning and so beautiful and really different to anything you can find on the high street. So for now I only have two in my collection. I have this one and then the gold as well which is beautiful too. But I think it may be great in the future I definitely want to get my hands on a few more of these. So if you've been watching my videos for a long long time you should probably know that I'm a bit of a powder phobe when it comes to makeup. I really don't like using powders, I'm completely against them in fact. I have been more recently converted by the Hourglass ambient lighting powders but to me in my head they don't really fall under the category of powder because they are so glowy and fresh looking. But there is one powder that I've surprisingly been using quite a lot this month and it's the Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder and this is designed specifically for under your eyes so setting down your concealer and concealer is something that I always struggle with whether it's covering my dark circles enough or being brightening enough or just looking a bit dry and a bit cakey and then also smudging my mascara. I seem to find whenever I get a concealer that works for me it doesn't work with my mascara and it just smudges and I get awful awful panda eyes. Especially as the weather's been getting a lot warmer now my mascara just seems to smudge on a daily basis which can be very very frustrating but this really does stop that from happening. It just kind of stops the mascara interfering with the concealer and sets everything down and it's also a really great one for brightening. I'm surprised how brightening this actually looks under my eyes. It almost looks like you've got a separate concealer on which is a kind of illuminating or brightening one and if you look very closely I'm not going to open this because it will spill all over my bed. It's a bit of a messy one but it actually has very very small pigment of shimmer or kind of reflecting pigments in it. It's an incredibly finely milled powder as well so I guess that's what stops it looking very chalky and cakey on the skin but I just take it under my eye and then also in a V shape almost down my cheek as well just to brighten and it gives a very subtle very highlighted luminous look to the skin. So last up I have a lip product and of course this wouldn't be a favourites video without one and surprise surprise it's not actually a bold lipstick which makes a change for once. So this is one of the Clarins Instant Light Lip Balm Perfectors and these have very recently come out and I I think they're in the same range as the instant like lip glosses or lip shines are the ones in the squeezy tube which everybody seems to love. I haven't personally tried one of those but this I really really like. So I have the shade 03 which is called My Pink and it's just a really beautiful very juicy light pinky looking lip balm and it has a slight bit of colour to it and also a bit of a stain too. If I'm wearing this on its own on my lips I do notice that it stains them slightly which is nice because it just adds a little bit more dimension to the colour. The main way I've been using this though is on top of other lipsticks so today I have one of the Charlotte Tilbury Matte Revolution lipsticks on in Miss Kensington and then I have this on the top and it just gives such a lovely kind of juicy plumped look to my lips and I'm not really someone that likes shine or that likes glosses but it just has the right amount of gloss and shine to it. It's a really really pretty formula and it is so so moisturising. These are probably one of the nicest lip balms I've ever tried. They're just very nourishing, very hydrating and they don't leave my lips feeling dry at all. I find with most lip balms that have either a tin or a colour to them they kind of sit on my lips a bit awkwardly and they're even drier than they were before I actually applied them which is a very strange thing for a lip balm to do but these do none of that they're just very moisturising and very comfortable to wear. So those are all my favourites of the month I hope you enjoyed watching that let me know as always what your favourites were I would love to know and don't forget to like this video and subscribe if you're new and I will see you all soon bye